Okay, this is lesson 3.5, and we're going to be dividing decimals by a whole number now. So we've gotten away from multiplication, and now we're moving into decimals. So the outcome, basically, we want you to be able to do is to divide decimals to up to a thousandth, which is three digits to the right of the decimal, um, by a one-digit number. So before we can do that, though, we have to go back to dividing, because I'm pretty certain that most of you have forgotten how to do it. So I'm going to lead you through the first one, and then uh, hopefully that will remind you of how to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start out with 5 into a 1. Now, if you have one thing, you cannot make a group of 5, so this one here cannot have, uh, cannot be done. All right, so now we can go over and we can include the 8. How many times does 5 go into 18 right now? And we know the 5 goes into 18 three times, and that's a 15 because 3 times 5 is 15. Now you have to subtract 18 take away 15, and that should give you a 3, because 8 take away 5 is 3, 1 take away 1 is 0. Now if you put a 0 here, that's fine. Next thing you do is you bring down the 5. Now, how many times does 5 go into 35? Well, we know that 5 times 7 is 35 exactly. So put the 35 there. When you subtract it, 35 take away 35 gives you 0. So we know that 185 divided by 5 is 37. Okay. Now, if you take a look here, we also want you to be able to tell me where the decimal is, because we are definitely going to be working with decimals. So, we have decimals on every single number we, we use um, in terms of whole numbers or irrational numbers, and they always occur when you have a whole number like this right at the very end. So, this would be 37 decimal, 185 decimal, 5 decimal, 15 decimal. So, they always are at the end. We just don't put them in because it's just extra work. All right. So at the end of one, so, so where's the decimal in 185? In this case, it's at the end of the five, right here. And you see the little dot I put there on uh, behind the 185. Okay. So just do a quick little check. Let's see if you can put the decimals in place in less than eight seconds. Go. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. You should be done. Okay. How, where are they all? One, two, three, four, five. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so now that you know what this decimal is, that's important because we're going to be dividing now by numbers which have decimals in them. And one of the key uh, things that we do is that when you when you divide, you always take the decimal and you're going to move it upwards and put it up top. Now you'll notice that we had a 38.185 right there. What this means is when we're dividing, this would move right up to there. Now because we're doing whole numbers and 5 goes to 185 um, equally, we only get to 37. But there are a whole bunch of zeros here that we could use if we had to. And we could bring them down just like we bring down anything else to the right. Right here we brought down the 5, right? So when you, when you get, when you run out of numbers to bring down, there's a whole bunch of decimal, sorry, zeros after the decimal. And we know this from what we call equivalent decimals. So you can start bringing down zeros. Okay, so let's go to the next page. And let's take a look at the dividing we did where you had uh, in grade 4. Now, in grade 4, you had to divide. And this is the first time we actually found out that you may have something left over. So I'm going to take and zoom in here so we can see it a little bit easier. Uh, zoom into 300. doesn't actually make it that much bigger, but here we go. Okay, so how many times does 4 go into 1? Well, it doesn't go in, so that would be a 0 there. All right, and now you have to go over to the 12 and include the 2. So how many times does 4 go into 12? Well, we know that 4 times 3, whoops, clicked the wrong one, is uh, 4 times 3 is 12. So I can put a 12 here, and 12 take away 12 gives me 0. Now, 12 take away 12 is 0. Now I can bring down the 5. How many times does 4 go into 5? Well, we know that goes in once. You put the 1 up top here, and when you subtract, you have a 1 left over. So in grade 4, we had an answer of 31 remainder 1. Now, we're not going to be doing this anymore because from now on, we're going to be able to get uh, and, and put decimals in here, right here. And what we'd do is we'd have a 0 here, which you would now bring down and put a 0 here. And now you'd continue 4 into 10, which would be an 8, and you could just keep moving your way downwards until you finish off the answer. And you'd have to put the decimal up here, and your rest of your answer would be 31 decimal, and you'd have a bunch of digits up here. So this is where we're going. You will no longer have 31.1 in grade 6. Sorry, you want remainder 1 in grade 6. We do not have remainders anymore. All right, so we're going to have you have to divide them all the way out until either you get to the proper rounding or until the terminal, the last digit actually equals a 0 down here.
Okay, so let's take a look at an, another question here. So I've got 3 into 11 decimal 22. Now to do that, I'm going to take and find out how many times 3 go into 1. Well, that doesn't, so we don't worry about that. Now we're just going to go over and include 3 into 11. Well, 3 goes into 11 3 times, because 3 times 3 is 9. So we know that this becomes 9 under here, and 11 take away 9 is 2. Now bring down this 2, and we're going to continue. Now, before we go and do this, we notice the decimal is here, so what you have to do is you always move the decimal straight up. Okay, and you'll see that that becomes three decimal. Now we're going to have some uh, part, uh, what's called a partial number up here, where you have, you know, a decimal, decimal, decimal. Okay, so let's move on. So now I've got 22. Three goes into 22, and you should see it goes in seven times because three times seven is 21. Now when I subtract this, two take away one gives me one, and zero take, sorry, two take away two gives me zero. Now I can bring down, now I've already brought this 2 down, now I'm going to bring this 2 down here. Alright, right to there. So now I've got 12. Now 3 goes into 12 4 times, and 3 times 4 give me 12, gives me 12, and of course 12 take away 12 gives me a 0. So now that I've got a 0 here, I know I'm finished. So the answer to this one, 3 uh, sorry, 3 divided into 11.22, or you could say this is 11.22 divided by 3, gives you 3 decimal 74, or 3 and 74 hundredths. Okay? Let's try another one. First off, how many times does 6 go into 8? Well, we know 6 goes into 8 one time, because 6 times 8, sorry, 6 times 1 is 6. So now I can subtract 8 take away 6 is 2. Next step, move the decimal straight up, so now I've got 1, whole time, and now we're going to do the part. All right. So now bring down the next digit, which is the 0. And how many times does 6 go into 20? All right. So in this case, uh, it is 18. All right. And 20 take away 18 gives you 2. Oh, I clicked the wrong one again. All right. So now we can bring down the 4. Now, how many times does 6 go into 24? Well, we know that that is 4 times, because 6 times 4 is 24. And then, of course, 24, take away 24, gives me 0. And because I'm at 0, I know I'm done. So 8.04, or 8 and 4 one hundredths, divided by 6 is 1 and 34 hundredths, or 1 decimal 34. Okay, next question. Okay, and I'm going to have to do a little bit of zooming out here in order to be able to see everything. Let's go to 200 and see how that works. There we go. All right. Bob bought five, sorry, seven chocolate bars for a total cost of $9.03. How much did each chocolate bar cost? Well, I'm helping you out here by telling you you have to divide. Pause the recording and see if you can do the division. Okay, so do that right now. Okay, so now we have to do the dividing. I'm going to zoom back in because it makes it a little bit easier to see what I'm doing. Okay, now first thing is how many times does seven go into nine? It goes in one time. Okay. There it is. And 1 times 7 is 7. Our next step is to subtract. 9 take away 7, that's 2. Now, bring down the 0. Put up your decimal. Now, how many times does 7 go into 20? Well, 7 times 3 is 21. That's too high. So we're going to go with 7 times 2. And that is 14. And, of course, 20 take away 14 is 6. Now, bring down the 3. How many times does 7 go into 63? Well, 7 times 9 is exactly 63. So we have 7 times, sorry, 63 take away 63, which is 0. So this is 1 and 2,900. So Bob bought 7 chocolate bars for $9.03. How much did you pay for one? Each chocolate bar cost $1.29. Remember, this is money, so our unit is the dollar sign. All right, All right let's take a look at the next one. Bob completed the la a race of four laps in five minutes and 42 minutes, sorry, 5.52 minutes. How long did he take for each lap? So pause the recording. I'd like you to divide 5.52 by 4. Okay, so let's move in a little bit closer. All right, so we've got it set up here. How long did it take him? Well, 4 goes into 5 one time, and 1 times 4 is 4. Now 5, take away 4, is 1. Put the decimal up, 
and bring down the five. Can't see the decimal, but it is up there. It's hiding behind this uh, little uh, this box right here. Okay, I'll see that. Okay, so how many times does four go into fifteen? Well, we know it goes in three times because four times three is twelve. And then of course fifteen take away twelve is three. Bring down the two. Four into thirty-two goes eight times because four times eight is thirty-two. Exactly. And of course thirty-two take away thirty-two gives you zero. All right, so the question here is each lap took one minute point three eight, okay, one decimal three eight minutes. Now remember, this is not one minute and thirty eight seconds because uh, time is in sixtieths uh, or sixty seconds per minute and sixty minutes per hour. Uh, this is in uh, the base tens. This is three tenths or eight one hundredths. So this is not thirty eight seconds. This is one and thirty eight one hundredths of a minute. Okay, I right, think going to the next one. I'd like you to pause the recording and try this one. All right, here we go. Okay, how many times does 7 go into 1? It doesn't, so I'm going to now include the 2. How many times does 7 go into 12? Well, 7 times 1 is 7. 12 take away 7 gives me 5. Now, bring down the 1. How many times does 7 go into 51? Well, 7 times 7 is 49. So that works well. Come on, click off there. Oh, wait, oh, right, there it goes. Okay, and 51 take away 49 is 2. All right, and of course, 7 times 7 means the 7 is up here. So now we're at the decimal. Move the decimal upwards and bring down the 9. 7 goes into 29. Four, oops, click the wrong one. Four times because 7 times 4 is 28. Come on, click off there. All right, now. 29 take away 28 is 1. Now you're going to bring down the 6. How many times does 7 go into 16? It goes in 2 times. I already clicked that by accident. And 7 times 2 is 14. I'm uh, having trouble with my, my, my clicking today. So 7 goes into uh, sorry 16 twice. That's 14. Subtract that, you get a 2. Now bring down the 1. How many times does 7 go into 21? It goes in 3 times. Because 7 times 3 is 21, and 21 take away 21 is 0, which means we are now at the end. So we have 17 and 423 thousandths, or 17 decimal 423. Okay, hopefully you're getting it right. Okay, pause the recording and try this one. Okay, so 6 goes into 8 one time, and that gives you 6 because 1 times 6 is 6. 8 take away 6, that's 2. Now, you're going to put the decimal up, and you're going to bring the 6 down. 6 goes into 26 four times, because 6 times 4 is 24. All right, so there's 24. 26 take away 24, that's 2. And now, you can bring down the next digit, which is a 3. Now, 6 goes into 23. Take a look here. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 4 would be 24. That's too much, so it's got to be 3. And 23 take away 18 gives you 5. Now, you can bring down the next digit, which is the 4. 6 goes into 54 nine times, and 6 times 9 being 54 means that 54, take away 54, puts us at 0, and that means we're done. Okay, so your answer is 1 and 439 thousandths, or 1 decimal 439. Turn in the page. All right, here we go. Try the green one. Okay, so here we go. 4 goes into 5 one time, and that's a 4. 5 take away 4 gives me 1. The decimal goes up, and now I can bring down the next digit, which is the 5. Now, 4 goes into 5 three times, because 3 times 4 is 12. 15 take away 12 gives me 3. Oops. And, of course, now I can bring down the next digit, which is the 6, and 4 goes into 36 nine times. And 4 times 9 is 36 exactly. So 36 take away 36 is 0. Oops. Now, don't, be, don't make a mistake here. We still have the 8 that we can work with. That's still got to come down. Okay? Don't just think because you got a 0, you're finished. 4 goes into 8 two times, and that would be an 8. And, of course, 8 take away 8 gives me 0. So now there's nothing left to bring down. My answer, 1 decimal, 392. Okay? So try the assignment. If you have any trouble, watch the video again. And come in for help if you do. And I will see you next time.